Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video on why I could not breastfeed. Um, so basically, um, I breastfed for about three weeks, three or four weeks, before I had to stop. I thought she was going to spit up. Um, so basically, this is Miss Sophia and our breastfeeding journey was definitely a struggle. So in the hospital, I breastfed and I thought I was doing pretty good, but apparently she was not latch latching properly. Um, but I didn't really know what I was doing, no one really taught me what to do or anything. So I was kind of guessing and I was not doing it right. So she was taught how to latch not quite properly. So we did what we were doing for about five or six days before I ended up getting like scabs and stuff on my nipples, TMI I suppose. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting scabs on my nipples and they were getting quite sore. And my boobs ended up getting really engorged because she wasn't getting the milk out properly or enough of it out. And she ended up losing quite a bit of weight. She ended up losing about a pound and a half, which is a lot. Um, your baby is supposed is like expected to lose a bit of weight while in the hospital and while they're first born, but she ended up losing a significant amount. So um, a couple days, four or five days after, we ended up seeing a lactation consultant, and she helped a lot. But by the time that she helped me. Um, I ended up having to start giving her some formula just to substitute for what she wasn't getting and because my nipples were so sore it I would cry every time she would go and suck go and go to suck on them <laughs> to get milk so I couldn't do it and I had to recuperate <laughs> a little bit so I ended up not breastfeeding but I would pump which was fine and um, she, the lactation consultant helped a lot with figuring it out, but by the time she saw the consultant, she had lost two pounds. So again, that is a significant amount, and she told me to just keep breastfeeding the way that she taught me, and her weight would go up. But I felt horrible that she lost so much weight. So I started to end up getting a bit of the baby blues and a little bit of um, postpartum depression because I felt like I was not doing enough for her and I wasn't taking care of her properly because obviously she wasn't getting enough nutrition and she was losing too much weight. So I um, basically just started exclusively formula feeding and I gave my boobs a chance to settle um, from being engorged and having all the scabs and the soreness and da da da. Um, so I did that for about three days and then I tried to breastfeed again and I didn't have enough milk. So I was running out of my supply for not breastfeeding for a couple days. I guess I wasn't pumping enough or whatever. Um, so she ended up not getting enough for my breast milk so I decided I emotionally couldn't do it anymore. Um, I I got very very upset about what what was happening. Like I could not take care of her properly just because I couldn't produce enough milk. I couldn't give her all the things that she needs. And a lot of people um, are very judgmental when it comes to breastfeeding, and they're saying breast is best. I can't believe you're not breastfeeding. Um, you should be doing it. It's the best choice. It's the best for the baby, which is true. I agree. Breast milk is better, but sometimes there are things that happen where you can't do it. Um, where um, she also had like a bad latch, also, so she wasn't quite comprehending it. She didn't really like the breast. So what am I gonna do? She doesn't want it. I can't do anything. Um, whatever is making her healthier is what I'm going to do. So again, um, she did not want the breast. She wanted the bottle because I introduced the bottle and she knew it was easier and she was actually getting s sufficient amount of nutrients and all that fun stuff. So I ended up completely 
bailing on the breastfeeding um, and I struggled with that for a long time and still kind of struggle with that because I really did want to breastfeed um, just because of the bonding and all that fun stuff. Again, I, we do bond a lot. We are very attached. I'm a very much an attachment parent, I will be honest, because we spend a lot of time together and I, I tend to do everything with her. It's because I love her so much. But, um, yeah. So I couldn't breastfeed. <laughs> That's it. And my milk ended up drying up. And that was it. I didn't pump anything. I couldn't pump anything. Anything like that. My milk was gone. Um, I actually, it wasn't completely gone. Like, I can still produce milk if I really try. And it will still come out. But it takes a lot of effort. You silly. You silly. But yeah. Um, it, d it did end up making me quite upset and very vulnerable. Um, on top of like just having a baby and all the emotions that come with that, I was torn for not being able to breastfeed because I really wanted to do it and I felt like a bad parent because I couldn't. So if anyone out there is struggling with the same thing, I know how you feel because it feels horrible not to be able to give your child everything that it needs and wants. But like, like I said, um, whatever works and whatever is making your baby healthier is the best option. Formula has been working very well with her. Um, she is almost, she's about four pounds away from being triple her birth weight. So, which is pretty good. Like, she looks tiny, but she's so tall. Like, she's skinny, but she's tall. And she has a little chubby cheeks. Um, again, like, a lot of babies are a lot bigger than her. Um, but she's doing okay. She's a lot healthier now. She's gaining weight fine. She's eating fine a lot better than she was. Um, and I guess that's all that matters. <laughs> So if anyone else was struggling with what I struggle with, I highly recommend, if you really do want to breastfeed, go to a lactation consultant right away if you feel like things aren't going properly. Because if I would have done that, I probably would still be breastfeeding because I wouldn't have taught her how to latch not on properly. Um, and uh, I would have had a better experience emotionally and I probably would have had a better supply and all that stuff. So I highly recommend not waiting. If you're in pain from breastfeeding, you're probably not, I don't want to say not doing it right, but um, there's probably something easier or better you could be doing. So a lactation consultant, I highly recommend because it helps a lot. But yeah, so she's formula fed. Oh my God, I'm a horrible mom. <sighs> I don't know. Fed is best, guys. Fed is best. Do what you need to do to keep your baby healthy. So yeah, that is why I could not breastfeed and yeah. I would like to try breastfeeding for my next ch child for sure because I'm really upset I couldn't do it. But yeah, next child, we'll try again. Yeah, we'll try again. What you again? Yeah. He's smiling. I'm sorry you guys missed it. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please like and maybe subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!